So it's the middle of the night and I feel like taking a picture. But what can I take a picture of? Ah, now there's a shining example of a photo that everyone wants to take. A picture of the moon. But probably not with this point and shoot. Let's use a proper camera. Here's my T2i and I fitted my kit telephoto lens and set it on a tripod. Let's go and see what this can do. We'll choose auto, that's the green one, and take it outside and see what it's capable of. OK, we'll turn it on, line it up with the moon, zoom in and get some definition in the focus area. Focus and... Oh, that didn't look very good. Well, that was awful. It's true. Auto simply isn't going to work. Because most of the screen is black, it's going to boost the brightness of the moon until you can't see its features because it's blown out. Enough joking. Let's do it properly. The first thing is to set up a picture style with maximum sharpness. Menu button. Two spot camera page. Right at the bottom. User defined one. Press the disp button to set the detail. Sharpness. All the way up to seven. Now we'll turn the dial to manual. Select picture style and choose user defined one. Make sure your lens is set to have focus on manual and the image stabilization off. Turn the aperture to whatever f-stop you think is the sweet spot for your lens. It's probably going to be somewhere between a stop away from wide open and f11. It also helps to use a remote control so that you don't have to touch the camera. This is an RC6 infrared remote control. I'll set the camera to receive infrared signals. You don't need to do this if you use a wired one. You could also use the timer if you don't possess the remote. Line the camera up so that the moon is in the center of the screen and use the magnify button it's a plus sign in a blue magnifying glass to get the five times digital zoom for manual focusing. I'll be honest, doing a manual focus is hard because it's very sensitive. Do your best and take your shot. After all this setting up, it's well worth refocusing multiple times and taking five or ten attempts or more. When you get back to the computer, sort the images by size. The one that has the largest JPEG will be the one that's in best focus because it contains the most detail. We can ignore the first one that we took. That was a joke. The best one is the next largest right here. To be honest, this isn't the best moonshot I've taken because it's a little hazy tonight. But as far as I can tell, these tips will get you the best shot your camera is capable of.